Hello students. Today we will discuss very important topic that is carbon and its compounds. Then the nature of organic reactions. We know that uh, substances are two types: organic or inorganic. Organic substances mainly carbon compounds. covalently bonded carbon compounds hydrocarbon derivative of hydrocarbon having different functional groups like alcohol aldehyde ketone and they differ from one another on the basis of their functional group but if you see inorganic compounds it may be ionic compounds or specific covalent compounds are there it has different characteristics if you come you see the properties of organic and inorganic substances but uh, organic compounds has specific structure the characteristic of organic compounds mainly depends upon its functional group mainly depends upon functional group and the the properties also depends upon its functional group so the reaction the nature of reaction of organic compounds mainly depends upon the involvement of functional group how the functional group is changed to another functional group in how the structure changes on that basis organic compounds are divided into many parts it can be classified in different types on the basis of the reaction the involvement of functional group how the functional group is changing and how the carbon chain is uh, changes to another carbon chain because we know carbon chains are straight chain branch chain cyclic chain and carbon chain having double bond triple bond like this so on that basis we have to see the reactant and product in what way the reactant is convert to product what is the difference between the nature of reactant and product on the basis of its functional group on the basis of the structure on the on that basis organic reaction are divided in different parts let us start the types of organic reaction is very important if you compare this uh, uh, different types of reaction with inorganic compounds is totally different inorganic compounds the reaction already specific like your combination reaction displacement reaction double displacement reaction like this but organic compounds the types of reaction mainly depends upon the the change in the structure of the organic compound change in the functional group of organic compound change in the um, that carbon chain on that basis organic reactions are different types let us start generally organic reaction we can say it is first you can say it is a combustion reaction organic reaction may be combustion combustion so already you know organic compounds are highly combustible already you have discussed the properties of organic compounds as they are highly combustible it catches fire easily so it is so a combustion reaction combustion reaction indicates what organic compounds when born in presence of oxygen it gets oxidized you can say it gets oxidized to corresponding compounds so if you take uh, hydrocarbon or its derivative when it bonds in presence of oxygen producing as it has carbon always produce carbon dioxide let us see some combustion combustion reaction combustion reaction means organic compound when bonds in presence of oxygen produce oxides and water this is very important specific expression of combustion reaction and produce heat produce heat and before this combustion reaction also required heat for catch fire so minimum heat is required so organic compound when bonds in presence of oxygen producing oxides water and heat this type of why water is produced because organic compound has what hydrogen that's why it is combustible 
organic compounds has carbon means carbon monoxide carbon dioxide is produced carbon monoxide is incomplete combustion and carbon dioxide is complete combustion already you have read in junior class Com complete combustion incomplete com sufficient oxygen insufficient oxygen like this so this is a general expression of combustion reaction always produce heat this is expression of combustion reaction for example we take methane this is methane when bonds in presence of oxygen when you heat methane gas it is a gas methane is a gas at room temperature when heat then produce as carbon oxygen carbon dioxide is produced and hydrogen oxygen water is produced so i can balance it as it has two four hydrogen you multiply two here so that hydrogen become four now you see oxygen oxygen is two and two that is four you multiply two here this is the complete balanced equation for the combustion of methane similarly if you take alcohol you know burning of spirit this is alcohol this is called ethanol already we have discussed that nomenclature two carbon which group means ethanol one carbon which group means methanol like this last class already discussed so ethanol when bonds in presence of oxygen is produced same technique is same carbon is there oxygen carbon dioxide if hydrogen is there water so only carbon only oxygen is available so product is carbon dioxide and water plus heat this is called your combustion reaction and you balance two head two carbon you multiply two to balance the carbon now hydrogen how much six so multiply three now hydrogen balance now you see oxygen here oxygen two to four four and here three how much three and four that is seven so you can write seven here four here three seven Already one is there. You multiply three. Then three to six one seven. So like this, you can balance the what number of atoms in left side right. That is the same same rule that you have practiced in the types of chemical reaction in the first step. So methane converts to carbon dioxide water. Alcohol when bonds in oxygen produce carbon dioxide water and heat. So this is the important. Examples of combustion reaction and the product depends upon if organic compound containing sulfur produce sulfur dioxide. If organic compound phosphorus produce phosphorus pentoxide like this. Produce nit heavy nitrogen nitrogen oxides. So it depends upon the nature of reactant nature of the organic compound when undergo combustion produce oxides and water. This is the general expression of combustion reaction. Then the second reaction is. can say that is addition reaction first second right substitution reaction substitution reaction indicates one group or atom is substituted by other in place of one it will be replaced for example you can take suppose methane suppose methane when combined with chlorine when methane gas reacts with chlorine gas in presence of light or heat when they will be exposed to light or heat methane reacts with chlorine Product you see methyl chloride. If you see the difference here, methane having four hydrogen. Here product is one organic compound that is methyl. You know CS3 is called methyl methyl chloride. And here hydrogen is less that is CS3 three hydrogen. So one hydrogen of methane replaced by chlorine. So it is a substitution reaction. That is what substitution of Hydrogen by chlorine. Here substitution of hydrogen by chlorine and produce remains SCL. So this is the example of substitution reaction. Another example if you write CH three CL. It is also one organic compound. React with KOH. 
Here K was K cross O M by H minus. Here C S three C L. Then what happens? O H minus will come to this side, carbon side. Then C L will be removed. That is also one substitution. Substitution means uh, replacement of one atom or group by other. When one atom or group is replaced by other, that is called substitution reaction. So for here, C L is replaced by O H. Then remain gas here. Now this is your methyl chloride. Methyl chloride. Because methyl group and chlorine, methyl chloride. And this is methanol. Already you have read in alcohol chapter. R O H is alcohol. So methyl chloride. You see the structure difference. You see. CS3 CL now is CS2 O that means CL is replaced by O H so it is a substitution reaction so substitution of one group by other replacement of one group by other that is called substitution reaction this is the type of reaction also takes place in organic chemistry then third reaction that is addition reaction. In addition reaction, what happens? Your carbon-carbon double bond or carbon-carbon triple bond converted to carbon-carbon single bond. If double bond or triple bond convert to single bond, or your triple bond convert to double bond. Both double bond, triple bond convert to single bond, and double bond convert to single double triple bond convert to double bond. Here, what happens? If you see number of covalent bond, here number of covalent covalent bonds are two, here number of covalent bonds are three. But if you see the product having one, so number of bonds decreases. When in between the two, when the in between two carbon atoms, number of bonds decreases, that is called addition reaction. You remember the techniques: double bond, triple bond, convert to single bond, or triple bond convert to double bond. This all this type of change is called addition reaction. In this type of reaction, we can say this is unsaturated. Already we have read. It is saturated. Specific saturated, but it is also unsaturated. It is also unsaturated, but difference is it has triple bond, with double bond, one bond breaks. Breaking of bond that is called addition reaction. Breaking of bond. Breaking of bond. Which bond? Carbon carbon bond. Breaking of bonds that is called addition reaction. Examples, some examples. C S two double bond C S two plus C L two. If what? Here C S two same no change. Here double bond becomes single bond. Now this when bond breaks, other atom added. Here two chlorine will add one side. Chlorine on the side. Chlorine. Here, what happens? Carbon-carbon bond, double bond. Here, carbon-carbon single bond. So it is a addition reaction. Double bond convert to single bond. Okay. So this example of what addition? If you take CH triple bond CH plus two H two in presence of nickel and heat. These are the condition for the organic reaction. Heat. Heat and nickel metal is required. Here, triple bond already I have told you. Same, you keep it single bond. Then hydrogen you added here. One hydrogen this side, another hydrogen this side, this side, this side. So here it is also there. But now it is you see it is acetylene. It is acetylene, but it is. Ethan. So triple bond convert to single bond, double bond convert to single bond. So this change is called addition reaction. Then come to fourth one is 
एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शन व्हाट इज एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शन इन एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शन व्हाट हैपेंस जस्ट ऑपोजिट फॉर व्हाट हैपेंस हियर सिंगल बॉन्ड व्हेन कन्वर्ट टू डबल बॉन्ड और व्हेन डबल बॉन्ड कन्वर्ट टू ट्रिपल बॉन्ड जस्ट ऑपोजिट ऑपोजिट ऑफ एडिशन रिएक्शन एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शन इज जस्ट ऑपोजिट एडिशन एडिशन इज द ऑपोजिट ऑफ एलिमिनेशन डबल ट्रिपल कन्वर्ट टू सिंगल या सिंगल कन्वर्ट टू डबल और डबल कन्वर्ट टू व्हाट ट्रिपल और यू कैन से सिंगल आल्सो कन्वर्ट टू ट्रिपल मेन सिंगल वन कन्वर्ट डबल वन सिंगल वन कन्वर्ट टू ट्रिपल वन डबल वन कन्वर्ट टू ट्रिपल वन दिस इज एडिशन एक्शन जस्ट ऑपोजिट नंबर ऑफ बॉन्ड्स इंक्रीजेस when number of bonds increases that is elimination when number of bond decreases that is called addition reaction for example here ch3 ch2 cl is a organic compound reacts with if you take i will give another example it will better to you suppose C C has two single bond C has two. Suppose here C L here C L here single bond is here. Then G meta. Then B. Then what else? Protein Z and C L two. G taking all chlorine. Then there will be when chlorine will be removed by G. Then there will be addition of another bond. This. this is your single bond. This is double bond. So this is called what? Elimination reaction. Loss of during el elimination means loss. Loss of atom takes place. That is called elimination. When addition takes place, when atoms or group will be added, that is called addition. Added how can you know? That is bond will break. Double bond, triple bond breaking. Triple bond breaking, double bond, single bond, bond breaks. But here single bond, double bond, new bond is produced. When new bond is produced, that is elimination, loss of atom takes place. Due to loss of atoms or groups, new bond is produced. So addition and elimination just opposite. Another organic reaction just to write very important that is rearrangement reaction. Rearrangement, rearrangement reaction. Rearrangement is here. What happens? Group is rearranging. In the number of atoms remaining same, but the only new structure is formed. For example, suppose example ammonium cyanide, NH4CFO. Here it is. A inorganic substance on heating produce NH2CONH2. This is or ammonium cyanide. It is called urea organic compound. But you see that there is no other group, other reagent is added here. Here same compound is converted another compound. You see nitrogen two here two, hydrogen four two plus two four. Carbon one, carbon one, oxygen one. Everything same. Number of atoms same, but structures are different. That is called rearrangement reaction. Similar other examples. If you take C H three, C H two, C H two, C H two. So it is a straight chain carbon. Okay. This straight chain. If you write C H three, C H, C H three, C H two. You see, number of carbon atom four here, number of carbon atom four. What is a straight chain? Is branch chain. Number of hydrogen also remaining same. So this chain is also rearrangement. Here, rearrangement of carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms in the chain. Another example you can take. C H three, C O, C H three. This is a compound. 
you can I can write in this way C has to double bond C OH C has to you see the difference here three carbon here also three carbon but here one oxygen here one oxygen here carbon carbon is single bond here carbon carbon double bond so the same atoms or groups are same there is no change in the atoms and groups the only structure are different due to replacement of rearrangement we can say rearrangement of atoms and groups in the molecule so that's why it is called a rearrangement reaction this step reaction also takes place by using some reagent by particular reagent it can be converted so you practice more about the types of organic reaction okay thank you all